my name's Jason Rowe. I'm a freelance travel photographer and writer and tutorial creator for lightstalking.com. As many of you Fuji users will know, there has been a problem processing raw files from Fuji's X-Trans sensors when using Adobe products, in particular Lightroom and Photoshop. The common complaint is there's just a lack of sharpness to the final image uh, and some artifacting as well. It's been an ongoing problem pretty much ever since uh, the X-Trans sensors have been released and it's something that until now Adobe have not actually addressed. Many Fuji photographers have gone over to other uh, processing products such as Capture One. This month however, February 2019, Adobe have released an interesting new update. It's called Enhanced Details and it's designed to enhance the details of Bayerless sensors, in particular X-Trans sensors. But does it work? Well, I'm going to quickly demonstrate how it works and uh, we'll have a look at the end results and decide then whether there's actually an improvement in the final image quality. So we'll kick off with this image of uh, the Opera House in Vienna. It's a unprocessed raw, so nothing's been done to it. And what we're going to do is we're going to use this new enhanced details technique. To do that, we go to photo, enhanced details. We wait a, a moment for it to load up and we will get a zoomed in view of the actual image. Now, if we click on this uh, magnifying glass, we can zoom out and then zoom in on uh, any area that we wish to concentrate on. And by default, when you're not clicking on it, it shows the enhanced view. And if you click on it, it uh, rever reverts to the unenhanced view. So uh, we can't see an awful lot from this. So if we click the enhanced button and we'll wait a few moments, what will actually happen is Adobe Raw will now process that image into a new DNG image, which is Adobe's own proprietary Raw format. Uh, now that's actually done. So if we click out, we now see that we have a second image here. It's usually positioned just in front and you will actually in the file name see that it's got the original file name dash enhanced and then DNG. So this is the enhanced process DNG and this is the original and if we go to compare we're now looking at the left hand side is the enhanced image and the right hand side is the original uh, Fuji Raw, X-Trans Raw, and there is a definitely some increase in detail, particularly if you look at the uh, the detailing and the, the work around the arch here. It's much, much sharper than in the original Fuji um, X-Trans Raw. There also seems to be a slight increase in dynamic range as well. There's just a little bit extra details in the shadow areas here, and a, perhaps a little less in uh, blown highlights in this lamp here. So there definitely seems to be some sort of difference. Let's just go back to the main screen there and we'll just try it on one other image. Uh, this is quite a detailed image of uh, Big Ben and it was taken on an X100S. So we'll do the same procedure again. So we'll go photo, enhance details, and we'll click on enhance and just wait for that to come through. And there we go. So if we click back, this is the enhanced version. As we can see, it's got the enhanced uh, suffix to it. And this is the original Fuji X-Trans RAW. So again, we'll go back and compare them. And uh, we'll have a look at the detail in this uh, mesh on the win windows here. And there is clearly extra sharpness in this detail here as compared to the original X-Trans RAW. Uh, this one is probably the most pronounced here. Uh, you can actually quite clearly see the lines. And this is at 2 to 1, so this is a 200% screen size. Uh, so there is definitely a difference there. Uh, zooming out, uh, visually they look very similar. There just seems to be a slight more richness to the, uh, to the enhanced version of it. So in conclusion, I think it's safe to say that there is a small but significant increase in the clarity of images when they are converted to the enhanced detail DNG files, which is a good thing for Fuji users. As to whether you want to go through that extra step of enhancing all your images or moving back from other processing software such as Capture One, that's entirely up to you. I think if you're working on an image that really needs the, the 
utmost detail out of it, then the enhanced details technique is certainly something that's worth using. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, and if you've really enjoyed it, drop us a subscribe and a share. Thanks for watching.